Hi, I'm Philip from Smart Apps for Kids. Today I'm going to show you this new app. Once you've seen enough, click on the icon to learn more or to download it from the App Store. Let's get started! Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we are going to be playing an educational app. It is called Multiply Pizza Pie. Oh yeah, doesn't that sound super awesome? What a cool name for an app. Okay guys, so as you can see, there is our little pizza shop in the background. And look at our super awesome Italian chef. Yeah, he can cook up some pizzas. Okay guys, so, 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 what we're going to do is press the big white start the game button. And let's get started. Ooh, it says, let's get cooking. And, ooh, it seems as though we've got our first customer. And she says... How many pizzas do you need? Okay, maybe the pizza chef said that. But she says, I would like three pizzas with three mushrooms on each. Okay, guys, so we need to do one, two, three pizzas. And then she wants three mushrooms on. So we go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That is super awesome. So we've got three pizzas with three mushrooms on each. Okay, so if we click order's on the ready. Button, it says that the order is ready. And now we need to type in the calculation, which is three times three equals what does that equal, guys? What does that equal? So we've got three, six, nine. So it equals nine. Check, please. Three times three equals nine. Yes, it does. It equals nine. So this was, oh, we just press OK. And we get nine dollars. How awesome. So you're going to send the pizzas. So we're going to bounce them over three. to the customer <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why we're bouncing them, but. Six. And I don't know why they don't have any cheese on. Why well, is no cheese on my pizza? No! Oh, maybe we can do better next time. Awesome. So, we have unlocked a new topping, which is super cool. And the other cool thing about this is, if we click on... Well, we'll click on next customer. And if we click... I would on, like two pizzas with four anchovies on each. If we click on to the dollar sign we can actually start buying super cool things for the restaurant so for twenty dollars we can buy a brick background yeah doesn't that look super awesome so the more pizzas that we sell and the more money that we obtain we can actually buy more cool things okay so we need to serve this customer he wants two pizzas there's one two and then he wants four anchovies on each. So everybody count with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then if we click on ready. Order is ready. The order is ready. So we have got two times four anchovies equals. Yes, it equals eight. That is correct. Check, please. Two times four equals eight. Awesome. So we have given the customer the check. He has paid his bill, some more money for us, which is sweet. And he gets his Four. pizzas with anchovies. I've never tried an anchovy. Eight. I, I might give it a go sometime. I would like five pizzas with six pineapple pieces on each. Okay, guys, so we need to count five pizzas. One. Two, three, four, and five. Now we need to put six pieces of pineapple on each pizza. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Wow, that was a lot of hard work. I don't think I could work in a pizza shop. It is a lot of hard work. Okay, so we click Order on ready. Order is ready. Order is ready. Thank you, Mr. Robot Guy. So we have got five pizzas. So we do five times 
and then there were six pineapple pieces on there, so we times that by six, and we equals, so guys, does anybody know what five times six is? Yes, it is 30. So we'll press on check, please. Five times six equals 30. Woohoo, $30. That's pretty good going. So we'll click on OK. And we'll send his pineapple pizzas to the gentleman. Six. Okay, guys, so what does our restaurant need? I think it needs a super awesome floor. So let's see, let's see, let's see. What do you think a wooden floor would look good? Oh, I think that would be super awesome. Oh, yes, that does look cool. And we've still got $22 left, so I think that we could put up a super cool painting, do you think? Yes. Oh, these are, these are quite cheap, considering what they are. So there's the Mona Lisa. And, oh, <laughs> that would be quite apt. I think we will put in the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Yes, we will. That looks super awesome. So as you can see, guys, you can design your restaurant the way you want it to look like. But even better is look at all these other restaurants that we can play with and design. That's super awesome, isn't it? So we're going to go back to the home page and I'll show you a couple of other things that are pretty cool with this app. So you can click on to the purple button and you can practice your multiplications. Yes, you can. So let's see, let's see, let's see. So if you want to practice two and practice multiples of two, three, four and five, you click on to that and practice multiples of one number at a time and basically when you go back into the game you will then only get asked questions regarding them particular numbers that you set up in that in the home page then on the reports this is pretty cool so these are my math problems and as you can see today on May the 3rd problems worked equals 4 so this is very good for being able to track your progress over time. Okay, so I'm going to cancel because I don't need that. Uh, and there is some info if you wanted to click on that and it will tell you about animation, videos of how to play and some directions, which is pretty sweet. Okay, guys, we have been playing Multiply Pizza Pie. You can download it from the iTunes store. Thank you for watching. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest gaming videos. Bye for now.